Now, the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, has declared Akwa Ibom State as one of the forward-looking investment hubs in the country. Oshibajo made the declaration during the inauguration of King's Flour Mill at Honor as part of the programs to mark the 32nd anniversary of the state's creation. The Vice President observed that in September 2017, he was in the state to commission the Jubilee Syringe Factory, Metrin Solution Plant, and some upgraded health facilities. And this year, he's back again to commission more. He congratulated Governor Udom Emanuel and the people of Akwaibam State on the anniversary and the congenial atmosphere provided for business to thrive. My very special pleasure and privilege to formally commission the King's Flour Mill Factory for the benefit of all of the people of Akwaibam State and Nigeria and to the glory of God. We attract investment hey, hey. in Nigeria. We need power. We need infrastructure. We need the right environment to bring in investments. And so it's important that anyone, any state government that wants to bring investments in and wants to join the federal government must also partner with us in providing some infrastructure and in providing the means by which it will be easier for businesses to come into Nigeria. I want to congratulate Governor Odom Emmanuel for partnering, for, partnering, for partnering with us, for partnering with the federal government so effectively by providing the means by which those who want to do business can come here and by ensuring that the infrastructure is first class. First, we have here, very close by, Ibom Power which I'm told is able to provide all of the power that this plant, as well as others in this neighborhood, require. And then, of course, we have good roads. We have the roads that enable people to come here. But as I always say, the best that Nigeria has to offer is its people. It's friendly, loving, and warm people. And so all of our investors look forward to coming to Nigeria. And I know that they look forward especially to come to Akwai Bomb State. Also, Governor Emmanuel thanks the Vice President for rising above bias and redefining what politics is and not propaganda. We are trying to make governance touch the hearts of the grassroots. That's what we are trying to do. We want to let people know that politics have moved from propaganda, mischief, blackmail, into development all over the world. That's exactly what we are doing. Today, I want to believe before we shut down, you help us launch Power for All in Akwaibom State. Because we want by the end of 2021, every single household in Akwaibom must have lights. The essence of this investment you're seeing here is just anchored on infrastructure development. Over this part of the state, Ibo Power Plant is just a, kilometer, a few kilometers away from here. You could see the line running through here. And that we got the investor attracted here. As of today, we generate about 115 megawatts. One of the substations you want to commission today to take 30 megawatts out of that and give it mainly for industrialization. So our next slogan will be come to Akwai Bum, we'll give you like 24 hours. Just come and set up a fact. If we say we're in leadership, we're in governance, we must give our people bread. And that's why we are promoting not just this, we are promoting a lot of agricultural based development. And by the special grace of God, we want to be self-sufficient. What's our target? Before we leave office, 80% of what we eat in Akwaibo must be produced in Akwaibo. And we're marching towards that. We have about 1,500 people working. And uh, we have two major teams. One is in infrastructures and the other ones are mostly in industries. Because this excellent city governor, uh, Deacon Udo Emanuel, has a vision of industries, developing the industries in the state which has started with the syringe factory, which is owned by us as investors and again constructed by our construction company, for sure. And after that success, 
His Excellency rewarded, awarded us with uh, the coconut oil factory construction, which will be the largest in Africa. After the syringe, the largest in Africa, we are now building the coconut, largest in Africa. Then uh, we requested him to give us a land to build this great structure in this part of the country, gorgeous compound, and the, which has the newest technology in Nigeria. Of course, we have lots of flowers, flower mills in Nigeria, but I think this is the most advanced technology uh, factory in the, in the country.